Welcome back. Kind of fits weirdly into Boom's draft. Like, this does mean they're gonna have to buy space for the spec we have. But every hero has to watch out for that anyway. It's not particular to the OD. It's, ju it's just so hard to lane, even against an enemy safe laner. You, you look at how much commitment it takes for Mikado to pop that Resonant Pulse. Not much. He can stand pretty far away. It casts really fast. There's no delay in the damage. Just means that the OD will kind of struggle along very early on here. Oh, top lane high. Might be the first one. Drew is going to slow him down. And Nuts will pick up the kill. And uh, we'll see Kesky come in. Given the bottle charges. Oh, black hole. Back down bot. Black hole coming out. KYXY tried to commit, but it looks like the Spectre is out of there. And well, you lose Hive at least. Alacrity with the rotation on the OD. Take the tier 2 bot. Remain standing. And perhaps now they go for a fight as Boom is still moving forward. But they just go ahead and try, try and take the shrine. Or the outpost, I should say. And RR. They know it's a bait. They will not go forward for it. And it kind of begs the question, at what point for RR do you think they start going in? But hold that thought, because Nuts is going to get charged from Dust. He does get disruption, but it's not going to matter. He is almost certainly going to die. It'll be another easy plus five pickup. The effect the Haunt would have, he's just going to wait until he has that Radiance up before committing it. And then you're going to have Radiance burn on all these heroes. You have a missed chance that the Troll has to worry about, that the uh, OD has to worry about now as well. So there's a lot yeah. that happen for Boom. FBZ going to get charged, we might actually see a fight, their charge will connect, but Hai is going to really surround Makoto, kind of jumps into the storm, but it's his own storm anyway, has anyone died yet? It is going to be Hustler, and now the battle, okay, wait, wait, he whips everything, Dream is on, he was in the astral uh, imprisonment, they do still find the Spectre, but now Nuts goes down on the Shadow Demon, Hai also to lose his own life, he'll buy back immediately on, on the uh, Thrill Breaker, but does it mean anything for Ara? They keep going. Drew is about to fall on the troll, and he does. They kind of overextend, and now the boom tackle came. That's why we didn't vision of Kesq. Can any fuel will hold him in? And it's a very, very messy team fight for both sides, but RR commit basically everything and don't really find what they really want. They got the Spectre, RR. Like, that's that's one thing, but they trade so much away that you, you'd be hard-pressed to say that's worthwhile. They... Last one, he just pulled back. Oh, God. That's a dieback on the Spirit Breaker. So now, RR, they do smoke up. Now, this, I think, is the right way to play it. RR, they're going to start moving in. Makoto may break the smoke. Hustler, can you get a charge off in time? He doesn't see Makoto. Instead, they go on to hide, but he snowballs. They do get a courier from Makoto, which is nice. They find hide. It's not going to be the real priority target they would have loved to find in that situation, but Hustler's still chasing. If he gets Makoto, it would be huge. They do scan out. They will not really get vision on Makoto, but it looks like they have found the... Well, not actually getting caught out on the Shadow Demon. He was trying to scout ahead. Now Hustler moves in. Alacrity also there. Hustler, who are you charging? He'll go after the Disruptor first. Try to get rid of that Static Storm, but they ignore him. Now Hustler falling low on the Horde does come in from the Spectre. They do lose Hustler. Haunt in. Good Static Storm. All being thrown onto the OD. Alacrity does die. k when he has that hole, but he has no help around. He may commit it anyway, and he does. With the midnight map hole, but Hyde casts it immediately. And now not. He'll go down as well. It's a dieback on the Shadow Demon. And this is not good news. And that's a real shame, because you would have loved to get that kill. They won't have the opportunity. At least they did buy time for Alacrity to, to finish, finish off that Agony Scepter, and he may need it now. Makoto is dropping in with the Yule, with the Ancient Remnant. It will all connect, and Makoto does manage to pick up Alacrity. Like it's FBD, he does get the kill confirmed, and now not the poor Shadow Demon, always getting caught in these positions, will have to go down. He will die with his brother. Whether or not they, w they had to wait for that Ags and the BKB, they've had them now. They have the Ags. They have the BKB. They're being killed with those items. RR has to make this investment oh, work. Drew. Drew. He tried to TB and I believe Kesku got the glimpse off and he did. Now they'll lose the troll. 
they have they found anyone else at BZ? It's always a void. Like either the the void spirit, you know, goes into his into his portals or the the task snowballs or something like that. And it just seems like they never really have the initiation for someone like KYX to follow up on. They may have their chance now as Boom have shown themselves. They are going to go after up and up all those guys down with the Guardian Group will save and now F B Z. He'd be an amazing kill, but the Sand Storm will be dropped. BKB's finally caught by the Tom of Drew. Who are you gonna hit? Saturdays is there, nuts. He'll drop. They do lose Hunter as well. And the Spectre Dream Assault, that'll be a big one. That was just the Aegis as the Rackery does lose his life in pain by XY. He's also gone. Hyde finally goes down on the Tusk. But it's only support kills here for, for the side of RR. And FBZ will leave the fight with an ultra kill on the uh, on the Timber so He was in a static storm, he got disarmed, he BKB'd after the fact, and he couldn't do anything. The first BKB charge, nothing happening for the troll. They bled a lot there, at the least for RR. They've still got the black hole under Enigma. So they do have ways of playing in that tight area. They've got the Santi's Eclipse and the black hole. There's right there. Instead, they smoke up right now. Okay. Going to try to find that pick off anyway. Well, they might find Hyde. Hyde does get Astral. Should be a nice, easy kill. Don't get the snowball off, but his team is rotating in, actually. Hyde, he may just be bait right now. So he does go down, but they may not care about Kensuke. He's not too far into the trouble, but the Toto jumps in, gets the silence off, and now the Odin's dead. The black hole is only called to support the Disruptor, and that is not going to be enough. They are starting to melt on the side of RR. The buyback's flying out, but doesn't matter. They can't get their time, or maybe they can Drew. He's man fighting everyone by himself, but it really doesn't matter. Sanity's dropped, but he had no stats. He did no damage. Oh. And that's the GG, they've had enough, they've seen enough and just held, just farmed and had faith in the inspector to get there. Oracle, Ricky, Storm. Catching all three is just nearly impossible for any good player, right? Overall, I think we can both agree Boom is a little bit scarier just based on the fact that you have to really find out who you need to prioritize in these team fights. Easy hasn't been too phased by it. Like, he is still playing in the lane, but he has expended all his region out. Nice batch from Drew as well. FBZ there you does go. go down Drew, he had enough damage. Fultz had a tango, so nice amount of uh, branches if he wants to go for the tree eating. So, he's still gonna be able to stay in this lane. Well, nuts, we'll get caught out, and it's still level one. He doesn't have the Icarus Dive, and that'll be a very easy kill. That's the thing with the high task, he's pretty much always on point with the shards. So if he catches you like that, you are really kind of screwed over. Makoto mid lane does also go down. Uh, I like seeing that from Alacti, just maximizing that first dragon form. Very key to take out that mid tier one, mainly because it will take a lot away from Mikado. You know, he's not going to have safe access to his jungle anymore once you take that out. Bot lane, they do end up finding a snap by, but Alacrity now gonna get jumped. Tag team is there from Hyde. Alacrity is so tanky, now KY X Y rotates in. He isn't level 6, but it's not really necessary, or maybe it is. Kesku, he's trying to heal up the snowball, all safe, but now Kesku just gonna wait around, but he does go down at the end, as Hyde will now try to run the best he can. And a spear perfectly connects from KY X Y. They do pick up both supports and. Which is probably a good thing as RR is setting up for the bot tier 1 push now as well. Oh, Alacrity gonna get surrounded, however. They know he's farming there somewhere, no one can make the jump. Fortune's in, tag team, they should have the damage, but again, KYXY is there. But you still don't have that level 6 on the mana, and Alacrity, he won't get the cookie off in time from Kostler. And with that KYXY, he may also go down. You'll see Nuts come in, but he's only level 3 on the Phoenix. And the snowball will connect. He does lose his life as KYXY misses a spear. And that should mean his life is forfeit as well as FBZ. Going for the stampede. They want Adam, absolutely everybody. They will not get Hustler. But who cares about the support snap by him? And setting themselves up quite nicely in terms of EXP. This is a massive issue for RR. Wither Draft. They need level 6 on all of their heroes. On under Mars, under Phoenix, and they're just not quite there yet. Drew, Mortimer's Kiss is Chrono going to be committed, but the Snowball! Oh, in fact, no Snowball, what was that? He just disappeared. Never mind. High through the, the shards and apparently just hit the storm. 
Remember, less hide, gonna be run down. Snowball now comes out, but he should die. Oh yeah, just do there. They did finally throw out that first chrono. I believe that's Drew's first chrono of the game. They find the biggest target they could. And uh, that is gonna be pretty important. If I may compare the two offlaners though, FBD sitting at level 8, about to, to hit that level 9 mark, he's currently forcing in a tier 2 tower at the top lane. He does use his Hood of Defiance and is moving forward onto Nuts. Nuts does have Icarus Tire, so he should be okay, but Dream Assault is waiting on the right side. Icarus Tire, the Dream Assault is in the exact right spot. And that is just fantastic positioning and prediction coming out from Dream Assault. And they are able to secure that top tier too. In fact, mid lane, they make another jump through. He gets caught out. Arena of Blunt is there to help out. The time walk isn't off cooldown in time. He'll lose his life. Can't wait for trying to run away. He'll hold his shield up, but it doesn't matter. His hustler still trying to fight, but it really doesn't matter at all. He's only a snap fire now, Alacrity. He was joining into the team fight, but although he's tanky, he's not really that tanky when you're surrounded by five heroes and he will be the fourth to drop in that team fight. But, uh, well, he has heroes rotating in. KYX one Hustler are there. Arena is up, Mortimer's Kiss is also up. You do have Stampede on FBC. Dream yourself. Gonna be there. FBZ fading. Arena comes out now. Sunray to try and burn him down as much as possible. There's the Stampede and the False Promise. Drew wins the Chrono. He commits it, but it was all a pain. They've lost much from the Phoenix. Snapfire gets to fly up, and everyone else is probably gonna die here as RR needs to back the hell out of here immediately. Oh. Snapfire fires back. Alacrity is getting surrounded. Somehow FBZ survived throughout all of this, and Alacrity now gonna slowly be chipped away at. The Sportsman then does connect him with Snowdo, he's afraid of nothing but the Chrono is down. Cookie misses, Snowdo connects on two, Drew trying to run, in fact he's trying to fight, but really, I think it's time to leave, and what a shot coming out from high. That is, uh, that is terrible, terrible news for the RR fans out there. He may opt to go for the blink, and it looks like he is. But FBZ's farm of the Centaur is also extremely scary. Like, he is a non-factor in front target. In fact, they do jump the Ricky, but there's the Fates Edict. We talked about this. You have to get the Oracle first. Drew, he's been caught out in that smoke screen. Now the tag team is going for him. So, Makoto, he'll jump in with the Vortex. He does grab the, uh, the Void, but not quick enough. He time walks away. Now the x stun going to be there on Makoto. He does go down. That is a huge kill for RR. Green is all blinks out of there, but he's been slowed by the defusal of Drew. Cookie, not gonna stun anybody. Sentries everywhere for Dream Cell, but they're just gonna settle on hide. The smoke screen too annoying for all this punch tag team, but Drew should be able to get this kill eventually, but no. Snowball away, hide is on the great escape. He had the TP scroll, but can he juke them out well? Hustle's going to find it. There's no way out of this. He tries to shards block himself. Smoke is still there, so they could try to go for a team fight and just ignore Makoto. They'll see a target they hate looking at, which is FBZ on the Centaur. And FBZ just running forward. He doesn't care. KOAXY okay, gets a nice spear off. Grab to be popped, and they want to jump on that Oracle. Kiss is flying in. It can be popped immediately, and with that Oracle dead, they can't afford to fight into this, I don't think, but now the egg is over. FBZ, he's been left behind. He's a very, very tanky boy. KYXY, Arena of Blood, and now Dream Assault jumps from the Phoenix. They do find one. Snowball on to the boy through. He's falling below. Can they actually take him out, however? Warrior's pump won't be enough. Dream Assault now getting Chrono up through. He's found a high priority target, but they're losing support in the back line still. RR uh, looking really good. There's a very nice spear on Makoto, pushing him out of the team fight. And now FBZ. He's been left alone, and he's gonna die. And our Rajon, against all odds, are winning these team fights. Boom is completely aware, although he could still get caught out. We've seen this happen before. Where's FBZ? He's frontlining. He'll break the smoke, trying to bait them in. We've seen this one before. KYXY okay, misses the initial spear, Makoto. He does get stunned. This could be really bad for us. Can you get the chrono off in time? Not quite. They will not get it off. Now FBZ comes straight onto that snap fire. Arena will be dropped. It does catch a few of the egg. He's also there, Makoto, trying to focus it, but they caught him out with the stun. The Aegis will expire. Now a very nice chrono, but he's locked in his own team as well. Hi, with a 
nice shot. Makoto still trying to zip around, but it looks like Boom have no business in this team fight. They need to get out. Hyde, he will get speed into a tree, and he will be the secondary to die. Boom had smoked up as four. Of course, Makoto can just zip across the map, so they don't need him to smoke up. Who happily shot himself at the bot lane. Boom, however, aren't going to really find anybody they really want to go for. Unless it's Drew. And Drew, again on the stairs, this time he does climb walk away, and Makoto does not get the vortex off. Not in time anyway. But look at FPCD. <laughs> he's using retaliation, <laughs> pushing that T3 tower, and he's out healing the tower damage. And apparently Drew does no damage to it. They jump in down Makoto, a nice vortex. Arena on blood will be dropping. Drew is dead. He doesn't have fiber. The Phoenix Edward needs to be able to tick all the way up, and perhaps you find Makoto, but that is early in ages. Can you find him a second time? No, with that big game, what a vortex, Makoto! He can't three of them, they will all go down, they buy back as well. The Taylor X Y, he's falling way too quick, he's dead. Now they'll go onto a Lapperty, the DK also gonna go down. He tries to fight the best he can, but he doesn't have buyback either. And then he's driving tier 4, bringing the shoulder over to the rampage. They won't get it yet. Come on, boom, give him the rampage. GD's been called. Can't wait to go. He will stun. Will the game end? Smoke screen rampage is there. Bring the shoulder. We'll steal it before the game is over. KYS White trying to rule Christmas to bring the soul. He will not get away with it. There is no Grinches in this game, too. And that'll be it for this series, John. Boom, Esports convincingly take a 2-0 up against RR.